Since the liberals are running out of crazy conspiracy theories to blame for Hillary Clinton's loss, it seems like they've come up with a new one, and that is Donald Trump's Twitter account, which they say is run by bots, numbering in the millions, which could be used to blanket the internet with weaponized false info. Newsweek magazine just published this article. Donald Trump's Twitter bots are a fake news army taking over facts. A steady stream of Russian propaganda and fake profiles infiltrated social media and the web well before the 2016 presidential election, with many experts saying propaganda bots first took aim at the US in 2014 or earlier. The Russians have used social media driven information campaigns to discredit the US for years, Clint Watts, a senior fellow at the City for Cyber and Homeland Security at George Washington University said during testimony provided to the Senate Intelligence Committee in May. Facebook and Twitter remain littered with pro-Russian Western looking accounts and support automated bots designed to undermine the credibility of the US government. What they're insinuating is that the Russians are using bots in order to artificially inflate the number of retweets and likes on President Trump's tweets. Even if that is the case, the amount of likes and retweets on something that President Trump tweets is likely to have about a 0% influence over anybody. People with no self-esteem and no soul and who want to be famous actors or musicians will sometimes buy bots to artificially increase the engagement or the likes, the retweets on their tweets, or just buy followers in order to try to pretend like they're already popular. But even if this is happening on President Trump's tweets, it's likely to have absolutely zero effect over anybody's opinion of anything. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, a reasonable article from New York Magazine. What's up with all those Trump Twitter bots? Probably nothing. Here's the thing about Twitter bots, they write. Anyone can buy them for anyone, for relatively cheap. Just because bots are swarmed to Trump doesn't mean they came from him or his team. Creating a Twitter account doesn't even require a verified email address, making it easy to generate new imaginary users. Plus, there are dozens of much more likely and much more mundane reasons to set up a bunch of bots besides, quote, declaring cyber warfare on the American people. It goes on to say, maybe you run a business that sells inflated follower accounts so you can create a bunch of bots and direct them to follow your paying customers. Maybe you're a spammer who wants to DM links to people or hijack hashtags. A good reason to think that this is just a run-of-the-mill scammer? A survey of numerous new Trump followers shows that many are also following celebrities like Kim Kardashian, Ellen DeGeneres, Barack Obama, Jimmy Fallon, LeBron James, and brands like ESPN and CNN. The same types of popular accounts that are regularly suggested to all new users during Twitter's initial onboarding process. Having bots follow these accounts allows them to appear to the untrained eye just like new users who maybe haven't gotten around to uploading a profile picture. That millions of fake accounts would glom onto the most controversial person on the planet and subsequently on the social network right now is hardly surprising. No one this side of Louis Mensch thinks that Russia is attempting to collude with ESPN. <laughs> well, it looks like this is just more fake news. Speaking of fake news, let's see what's breaking over at CNN. Donald Trump hasn't tweeted in a very long time. Well, it looks like nothing is new over there either. I'm Mark Dice. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel here if you're new and check back every day for new reports. And I'll see you soon.